participants, but I will. I, I probably will can start. Okay, so uh, very impressive conference, and as uh, conference open stack becomes open infra, you should expect more and more uh, topics that are beyond just open stack and cloud infrastructure. And uh, my presentation is actually uh, about moving uh, from data science projects that are mostly developed as a Python, uh, a Jupyter notebook, and uh, a, actually after the application is developed, data analytics, they need to move to cloud. And here is becoming all its difficulties. difficulties. First of all, the uh, data science and big data application is actually the same application that has software and it needs to be deployed. But interaction between data science team and DevOps team and engineers creates some kind of misunderstanding and this is actually what we are trying to solve in our work. And uh, uh, you see uh, what, we, what I will, will be talking is a motivation why we are doing this. Uh, after that, some uh, information that quite useful for uh, DevOps team, software programmers, developers, and uh, for data science teams. And uh, uh, after that, we pro simply I will explain how we do this experiment, this uh, Amazon Cloud and uh, Azure Cloud. Uh, and finally, I will actually add my last slide, will be, you'll see at the end, this that we are ready to look at the open stack as a basis for the uh, task that we will develop and for education, because a very big part of my work is actually to do education and training for students and for my colleagues that are working for research infrastructures. And this is what motivation, the num uh, number one item is a uh, we are working at University of Amsterdam. This is branded as a research university. This means that we, will, we run a lot of infrastructure project development and application cooperating in this industry. At the same time, we need to address the education and training, both for students and for uh, a okay, specialist in different projects. So I would not say a, a range of training that we provide, or our faculty provides, but it's actually covering from such application areas like maritime industry to the data science, artificial intelligence, and uh, data spaces. And uh, currently, uh, Europe is building, I don't know how many people know about such interesting area uh, of activity and actually investment in Europe is research infrastructure. Europe runs a, a number of research infrastructures that serve all researchers in Europe. Such infrastructure like EOSC, European Open Science Cloud, EGI, European uh, Grid Initiative, also GIANT is a whole network infrastructure for universities, and PRACE is a supercomputing infrastructure. And also brain currently for uh, the uh, called? So brain st uh, uh, emulation. And uh, now, the slices is a new infrastructure that we will build around five years. And currently, one of the tasks that we are looking is both select technology, uh, establish the platform for running experimental research, and providing services for users. And we call this, uh, OK, surely we, we know the best development, best standard practices and cloud. And we call this. Uh, 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 Platform research infrastructure as a service that use actually platform model from telemanagement forum. This is not in this presentation. I'm only covering aspects related to the uh, something that we call a running data driven research. Is uh, a this core is data processing, data preparation, data processing, and so on. And uh, Infra research infrastructure management. You, I, what is listed currently? Do, do we have point or not? Possibly this doesn't work also. So you see that a uh, list of this infrastructure is a research infrastructure is covering the whole Europe, many sites, and running hundreds of the cores for support the research computation and a, a 
supercomputing computation. So uh, running this infrastructure requires really special training for the personnel. And uh, this infrastructure are running uh, ITIL courses, DevOp courses, and currently we are looking at SRE because it's really uh, the, something what we see as a benefit to run the so-called data-driven research. By the way, if you look at the SRE uh, a, a books or read from Google, they actually uh, provide the cycle, the whole cycle for support infrastructure that are user-focused, but actually data-driven. And this is interesting aspect. So we are still not at the point to teach or train, but we are looking, preparing to this to include in our, our solution. And uh, our motivation, and what I will co cover in this my presentation, is a, a data-driven uh, uh, research that requires data science analytics uh, for, science pro for data processing, and also uh, methods or practices to match, man, manage the whole cycle of data-driven application. What, what is different from normal software? Because there are two cycles, uh, either uh, maybe not two, maybe more. First is a cycle of developing the machine learning model. After that, deploying this, actually using the standard DevOps process. But beside this, we need also to manage the whole uh, the cycle of data. Because if we are working on this data, so we need to, first of all, collect data, save them, and finally then we use them and de use for the model development, we will use the production data or uh, real-time data. And all stages of da uh, data science project development need to be their data staged or lineage uh, supported for many reasons. So uh, managing data storage and data, say, preservation or lineage is an important aspect of all data-driven projects. And uh, uh, what on this slide, I saw simply want to draw your attention to that uh, the problem with data science project, that majority of data science projects start from the standard Jupyter notebook. And not all Jupyter Notebook is originally run on the cloud, say. So statistics somewhere here that around 80% of uh, data analytics projects have ended as nothing because they could not be implemented or deployed on real time or on real infrastructure, which is uh, typically cloud-based and big data. So managing the uh, running application, this big data is a critical, is a problem. So what we need to do, we need to educate data science uh, 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 developers, this uh, knowledge how to deploy their potential infrastructure and actually uh, uh, educate or provide knowledge, whatever. Uh, software engineers, this uh, knowledge how the data science project are organized, which are processes and what to look. So this is what one of the tasks that we solve uh, for our uh, say, uh, running project uh, research infrastructure for digital research and in education. And simple education, actually it's a big problem if you try to uh, 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 run courses that are uh, where students sometimes much more uh, experienced than you as a teacher. But still we benefit, we trying to provide benefits for, for students, giving them system. For example, for data science students, we provide some kind of basic knowledge for in, uh, uh, on DevOps software engineering. For software engineering students, we provide uh, introduction into data science projects. So this is how uh, we work. And uh, going back to the, no, okay, returning to the data science development project, it contains a number of steps that are not typical or not standard for the software engineering because it started from collecting data, working this data, a lot of work this data. Actually, data preparation, cleaning, whatever, is uh, typically somebody saying it's up to 90% of the data science project. Uh, so combining data after it goes actual uh, 
uh, data science project or machine learning project is a feature engineering algorithm selection model training. After, before deploying this application, analytics application, it should need to be serialized to the, uh, in specific uh, machine learning model. And we will look at the formats and the processes, so this needs to be uh, serialized and moved to the deployment stage. Deployment stage is typically doing the software engineers, or sometimes we call them data science engineers, or big infrastructure engineers, so depending on what, what is uh, a company select or how they uh, define this uh, okay. uh, con uh, their position. And this model actually shows you uh, everything what is first group is related to the uh, data science uh, part development, and second goes the deployment and of production operation. And a lot of problems, what kind of data you are using for this. So a recommendation is that data that used in the different stages are actually separated. Because if you uh, mix them or intersect, will be kind of uh, model drift and will be problems in the final product. And uh, if you look at the uh, standard DevOps model, so you will see that it's uh, known to you, but how where we combine them. So possibly after, only after the model is developed. And if you look at the more uh, uh, separating how is DevOps or MLOps is more or less the same, how they relate to the, each other. So uh, DevOps standard is having the, uh, de de develop, build, deploy, operate. MLOps, uh, MLOps or data ops is actually a benefit from the the same uh, well-developed uh, processes in DevOps and uh, adding this to the this data-related uh, issues. Uh, I will not be stand, uh, stay, staying long time for the data, uh, data science process models, but first model uh, is a crisp DM. It's something what is what we advise to uh, uh, software engineers to learn to understand what is the data science project, what is data analytics project, which are steps need needed. And all this model actually includes this just historical issue uh, related to the st such stage st stages like business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. And all this cycle goes uh, iteratively at each stage. Uh, this is more generic model, but if you look at the more specific uh, model uh, developed by AB IBM, assume analytic solution uh, unified model, so you clearly see that there is a cycle of developing the uh, data science part or machine learning model, and after it goes up, uh, deployment or preparation and optimization. And this is how they need to interact. Uh, more, Quite interesting model, just if you are trying to master this area, uh, it is quite useful to know the best practices. In particular, this uh, Microsoft data, team data science process is a very well developed and actually implemented in the framework of DevOps, Azure, Azure DevOps, the process of the same step stages. And you will see left and right specific uh, uh, Okay, stages or developments that you need to do this. So this is well developed. You get a full template for the project, and this you can run. And data analytics models. This is actually the whole zoo here, but knowing how these models that uh, format that allows serializing data machine learning models is quite useful. And again, if we are uh, you or we will try to make the same available from OpenStack, this is actually what you need to do to run, to take this niche of data-driven data, data uh, science project support. Currently, we uh, well uh, investigated and used for education the Amazon platform and Azure platform. And uh, this, uh, Google we tried, but 
for education, they use mostly only Amazon and Azure. And uh, the most powerful tool in uh, Amazon is a SageMaker that ca actually covers full stack, full uh, cycle of developing machine learning application. And after that, it goes use a standard way of uh, deploying this application to the uh, cloud. And this is how you do this. Uh, the left part, uh, it's uh, a extracting the template, cloud formation template, deploy it, and all cycle of the big rectangle is to actually runs on the SageMaker and allows many, many tricky things to tune model, automatically select algorithm and so on. Okay, uh, Azure has the same, but inside of the Dev ML Ops uh, framework and uh, has one of the interesting benefits that they provide also special data science virtual machine, uh, quite affordable even for education purposes, and this connect uh, the virtual machine fully into environments of all what is needed to run and deploy uh, data science projects. And on this, I just want to say, uh, for the purpose of education and training, we actually uh, developed so-called body of knowledge. Uh, many of you who uh, got education or training uh, heard about software engineering body of knowledge, uh, DevOps body of knowledge, or Agile. We extended them this data ops and ML, uh, ML ops specific elements. And uh, this is what we did. And uh, I, I told that currently we are looking uh, uh, on SRE to cover uh, the purpose what, why we're looking at SRE, to cover the uh, task of the whole uh, ecosystem optimization. Because in currently, if you talk about big uh, research infrastructures, the uh, optimization of uh, energy, other aspects, green is very important. You cannot do this in one way, but using SRE methodology, uh, you can actually create a model for optimization and using specific KPI. And uh, I think we, in the next couple of years, we try to uh, use also, uh, introduce OpenStack into our courses and training. We'll find possible look for cooperation. Thank you. I'm slightly uh, extended time, but. <laughs> okay. If question.